what is so simple about the golf course? Uh, no, uh, you're making it look simple, but what is actually so, and I did actually say bloody difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know what, every single hole, um, you've got something to think about. Every single shot, you've got something to think about. Um, and then the wind gets a little bit tricky here. So uh, I've really been watching the flags um, because the, the layout of the course, it subtly turns you into the wind or it turns you away from the wind. And you can't necessarily feel it um, from some of the tee boxes, some of the approach shots. Um, but there's fairway there and there's green there. And that's what I'm focusing on. Can you expand on your plan that you had going into the week that is panning out so well? And then can you talk about the rough because it's unusually thick this year and how that might play to your advantage? Um, well, strategy, my, my caddy Kyle and I just figured out where the widest parts of the fairway were, um, where I'd have the best approaches into the green. So um, I don't hit it particularly long. Uh, so I just capitalizing on my accuracy and then on a course like this, I mean, I, I think I hit um, the last two, I think I hit one, one more three wood today. So between four and five three woods off the tee. So, and that's particularly unusual for me. I'm usually a driver all the time. Um, but, it, you know, just picking good targets, that's really key on this golf course and then executing it. And you mentioned the rough. Um, fortunately, I haven't met it too much this week. Um, just a few times. And you can get some funny lies, but I mean you can get some funny lies in the fairways too. And I think that's just part of Lynx golf and part of the breaks you get. And I've had some, some good breaks these last two days, so I'm thanking my lucky stars and grandpa and my family and friends and all my fans following. Mo, have you ever, have you ever been in a position like this before, you know, leading going into the last two rounds? And how nervous do you think you'll be over the weekend? Um, I'll definitely be nervous. There's no doubt about that. But that's part of the game. Um, I think everybody playing on the weekend is going to be nervous too, and I'm going to embrace that. And that's part of what we do, part of what I'm blessed to do. And um, I'm, I, I have never been leading in a major. Mo, just to carry on on that with your grandpa where you said he's been with you, what has that been like over the past few months with your grandpa gone, and how much do you feel like your strong play of late has been reflected as to knowing that he's up there probably having a good say and a What's going on down here? Well, it's been, um, for those of you who don't know, I had an extremely close relationship with my grandpa, and he was an absolutely phenomenal man, influence in my life, and he passed away in March. Um, so I think the positive that came about was so many people came up to me and talked about how important he was to them, and. People have told me that he's just meeting him has made them a better man, better person. So just reflecting on those memories, I mean, they made them, they've made them even stronger for me. So there's just, I'm so blessed. So I, I've had a lot of opportunities to count my blessings.